In Sage 1, there are two steps to receiving money from a customer or paying money to a supplier. For the purposes of this video, we will use the example of receiving money from your customers. The same principle applies to paying to your suppliers. Firstly, you will capture the receipts of the money from your customer. Secondly, you will allocate the receipts of that money to specific invoices. The first decision you need to make with regard to your customer receipts and allocating to invoices is whether you want to make use of the auto allocate option, sometimes referred to as balance forward. This is set on by default in your customer master file and what it does is automatically allocate any customer receipt to the oldest outstanding invoice. If, however, you would prefer to allocate a specific payment to a specific invoice, then you would deselect the auto allocate checkbox in the master file. There are a number of ways that you can record money received from your customers. The first way and the way we would recommend you capturing would be directly from your bank statements in the banking screen. You will use this method if you are importing your bank statements either via bank feeds or by using the CSV and OFX import options. When you identify a receipt in your bank statements that relates to a particular customer, then you will select the type as customer and then you will select the particular customer that the receipt relates to. You are able to allocate this customer receipt to the related invoices directly from the banking screen by clicking on the allocate icon and ticking the invoices and value to allocate to each invoice. The second way of recording a receipt is by using the document type customer receipts. This is found under the customer menu under transactions. Click the add receipt button and capture the required details. Select which customer, select which bank account the receipt will be recorded in, Include details like a reference, description, comments, date, and a payment method. In terms of the receipt amount, you can either directly allocate specific invoices which will populate the receipt amount, or alternatively, you can specify the amount received and allocate to the invoices accordingly. There are other areas in the application where you can create the receipt document from. For example, from the customer tax invoices grid, you can create a receipt relating directly to that invoice. The final screen to understand is the allocation screen. This is where you will come to allocate any receipts that have not been allocated to invoices. You can also review and edit any allocations that were made previously. Select the customer you wish to allocate for and refresh. To allocate a receipt to an invoice, you will drag it from the right hand unallocated side to the invoices that appear on the left side. To view previously allocated invoices, you need to deselect the Show Outstanding Only box and refresh again. There are also some specific search options to identify specific invoices, including a date range filter and an invoice number search. And that's everything you need to know around receiving money from your customers and allocating it to the correct invoices. Remember it works exactly the same for your suppliers and paying them. If you get into a habit of recording these allocations accurately, you will always have an accurate understanding of what your customers owe you, resulting in a clean and presentable statement. Thank you for watching.